The pandemic, of course, hard on everyone, but especially difficult for the elderly. Yeah, NBC 15's Colton Molesky is finding out how nursing homes are starting to really rebuild and bounce back mm -hmm. after this pandemic, Colton. Isabel, that's why we're out here in Sun Prairie outside of the Telemore Senior Living Facilities because like we've been talking about all morning, they've had to juggle the quality of life versus the safety for seniors. And we've been talking with Telemore expert Wendy Kempf this morning. Wendy, we were just talking about quality of life and ensuring quality of life. And that starts when you're trying to find a senior living facility to begin with, doesn't it? Right, it definitely does. Um, in a lot of cases, seniors are moving from a home they've been in for 40 or 50 years and they've raised kids. So this is a big decision and it should be taken and not be taken lightly. So doing your homework, um, you know, getting a list of places to actually go and visit. The internet is fine for finding those places, but you really want to go and interview those communities. Communities. So um, just look, talking about how they plan to care for yourself or your loved one as they age, um, what the plan is in place, and is it welcoming? Do you feel comfortable when you walk in? Is it a place that people are engaging in social opportunities, dining? All of those things should factor into um, what you're looking for in a senior living community. And you know, you guys are building this facility right now. You can see the construction going on. Were you able to add or change things inside this facility during the pandemic that you were kind of updating and revamping some of those safety procedures? Definitely. We were very fortunate that we started building a new community during COVID. So we were able to upgrade the HVAC system. So all of those systems and mechanics are in place. They're state of the art, including um, touchless soap dispensers and paper towel dispensers, sanitation stations throughout the community just to help keep people safe. COVID's going to be with us for a while, so we're all having to sort of um, pivot and make those changes, um, and, and we have them in place. So we're excited for our August 2nd opening here at Talamore. Thank you so much, Wendy, for your insight. A few other things to look for when you're choosing a senior living facility. Tim, want to make sure that you're keeping those seniors that are going to be in those facilities safe. Yeah, it's so important. Colt Molesky, all right, reporting live for us from Sun Prairie. Appreciate that.